Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone's having a great Saturday already. It's a very cool morning this morning in downtown. It's very nice weather. All right, so today I'm going to be going over basic overview of the PM400. This radio is manufactured by a Motorola. Go ahead and power it on for you. You get a two-tone beep when the radio is powered on. The backlight is set to on, and it is a, a, a green backlight, other than an orange on my other mobile. So I'll go and scan through some of the channels here. This radio is a narrowband UHF radio. It's UHF only. I have some repeaters programmed into here. However, I do not use them because the narrowband... Uh, frequency that this operates on makes your voice sound weird when you're talking on uh, on wideband frequencies. So I tend not to use it because it is annoying, um, but I do have them programmed in here just in case of emergencies. So um, one of my favorite features about this radio is I'm going to go to my mobile channel uh, that is from my mobile to my portable here. Portable is powered on. I'm going to go ahead and dial this back down so you can hear the tone. This radio is used for law enforcement purposes as well. Um, they used to use them. I, I take that back. They don't use them anymore. They used to use them for like parks, uh, officers and things like that down in the bay um, and back east. The signaling system currently on this channel is MDC. So when I key up, you can hear a tone come out of the portable. That tone lets you know that somebody's pe that somebody is keying up the radio. Um, so if you have a, your radio at a low volume and you hear that, you can turn your radio up so you can hear what they're saying. I have a few function buttons on here that I've programmed uh, certain menu functions uh, in the software to the radio. Um, we have one, which is a monitor. Two is system scan. Three is also system scan. And four goes back to a main channel. So if I'm on Nestor CD base and I press P4, it'll take me back to mobile one. And you can set that in the CPS software. You do need a commercial radio software program from Motorola to program this radio. Uh, I always say that's how they get you. But, you know, you pay for quality. And this radio was, has been in my car for quite a while. Um, all right. So I will go through the CPS software at a later date this week. I'm going to also going to sit down and discuss with you guys how to operate Chirp, uh, which most of you know you use for the Baofeng and the other uh, the other off-band radios there. Um, I think that is just about it. This radio is good for what it does. It's got 43 watts power. Um, currently, I have it set up with a low-profile undercover antenna, um, and uh, it gets out pretty good. I've... Uh, I've spoken approximately 30 miles, just mobile to mobile with it, um, and uh, and that's not accounting for repeating uh, repeater testing either. So overall, I like the Motorola PM400 due to the uh, the signaling system. This radio is also uh, trunking capable, LTR capable, has conventional frequencies and repeater access. Well, without further ado, I wish you guys a happy beginning to your weekend, as it is Saturday, and uh, 73 until the next video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.